All right. Shalom, Yashirala. Back again with another Lord Wood and Elephant video. The Spirit Prophet Yah by Shinyan Shah. Before I start, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory and to the Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son. Yahweh by Shinyan Shah. Call all Yom La Yahweh by Shinyan Shah. Double honors. Next up, the Bounty of Fast of the Great Millstone, who still go to the house of Bowers and preach the truth according to the Bible. In peace, bless, and mercy, and safety to you, I can that push the truth in the four corners of the earth with righteousness, and boldness, and sincerity. And uh, I just want to make a quick vid, you know, before I go into work. I'll do the spirit of y'all, Bashim Yah Shah, you know, to keep on pushing. You know, just get a little, little scripture that we all know. It's the book of Jeremiah. Chapter 28, verse 8. And the prophets that have been before me and before the old prophesied against both against many countries. So the prophets that were before us and the prophets that were before Daniel, you know, it's like not Daniel, Jeremiah, the prophets that were before Jeremiah, and the prophets are gonna be after Jeremiah, is gonna prophesy against many countries, right? You know? Against many countries and against great kingdoms. And against great kingdoms, man. You know, against rulerships, man. Against many countries and, and against great rulerships. You know what I mean? This is going to be the prophets before Jeremiah. This is going to be the prophet Jeremiah doing this. And this is going to be the prophets after Jeremiah. A war. A war. World War Three is on our way, man. World War Three is inevitable. World War Three, man, this might be the year. Maybe. Not saying that it is. You know what I'm saying? With 2017, a lot of prophecies was happening. In 2018, you know, it's going to be, man, 2018 going to be a bad year, man, for two-thirds. But uh, it's going to be rejoiceful for the elect, you know, hopefully that socket. Uh, of war. So World War Three is coming, man. World War Three is coming. You know what I'm saying? And of evil, evil. Bad times is coming, man, for you two-thirds. The time of Jacob's trouble. You know what I mean? Um, a time that, you know, you know I have not seen in the earth before. You know what I mean? Bad times is coming, man. Bad times. A lot of death is coming. You know? And of pestilence. And pestilence, man. You see all these different diseases coming out of nowhere, man. The Ebola is coming back. You got that plague out there in Madagascar. You got the bubonic plague coming back. You know what I'm saying? You got different ST. You got new STDs. You got new type of herpes. You got two, you know what I'm saying? You got hep, you got new hepatitis. You know what I mean? It's all different type of diseases and illness that's coming out, man. You know what I mean? And this is what the prophets of old was prophesying, man. Against many countries and against great kingdoms, man. So and likewise, that's what we supposed to do. You know what I mean? As men of the Lord in uh, this in this uh, kingdom, this rulership, we are supposed to be doing the same thing as uh, the prophet Jeremiah was just saying, man. You know what I'm saying? So, I just want to make that quick little the video, man. You know, matter of fact, hold on. Um, uh, let me see. Let me see. So, okay. This is the book of Romans chapter 15, verse 4. But whatsoever things that are written aforetime, which are aforetime means before we were created, well, before we was born, were written for our learning. So the things that are written in this book, man, the things that happened before we were born, man, you know what I mean? The things that was in the ancient world, you know what I mean, was written for our learning today so we can know what to do in this kingdom, this rulership, man, and how to conduct ourselves. That we, through patience and comfort, of the scriptures might have hope. So through the patience and comfort might have hope, man. You know what I mean? When you go into that word patience, it means to suffer, man. You know what I mean? So, man, we, we suffer all these things. You know what I mean? But we got the comfort of the scriptures. The scriptures is the comforter. And that we might have hope. You know what I mean? So, Lord, we're in view with edifying our field. Lord, we're to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and to His only begotten and Son. Yahweh by Hashim, Yahweh Shai, Kahalayim, La Yahweh by Hashim, Yahweh Shai, Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Shai, Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Shai, Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Shai. You know what I mean? That's the other honors, the apostles, the elders, the great North Stone, who still go out to the Howard, the Bible, the Christian Chief, the Court, the Bible, peace, blessing, mercy, the icon of the Christian Chief, and four corners of the earth. With that, 
Shalom.